Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, they're huge. Ooh Let's see what it looks like underneath this. All right, Curse of Strahd. This is probably one of my most favorite modules in all d and Mainly because the vampires don't sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> they're classic hardcore vampires. <laughs> It's so much bigger than I thought. I thought the coffin was going to be the size of the book. Oh, the so book? I was kind of expecting that size. Oh, it is. Oh, it's got the gloss spot touch cover. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah. that, I think, is a... a I said there was going to be a surprise in the box, so I'm guess, guessing that it's there. Uh, I guess it could be that. Strahd lying in there, and that's his stat block. That's <laughs> his character tree. Yeah. So you pull in that out <laughs> when you run it. Hold on. <laughs> so it is a soft cover. Oh, that's nice. Sets the theme really well. Um, got some features on the other side, all the useful tables. Nice specific stuff to maintain. The boss poster of Brovia. Castle interior on the other side. The tans on the Brovia side as well? Yep. Yep, got all the tans. That's cool. It's always handy to have the creatures separate and you're not flipping them looking postcards. And this is supposed to be a proper size deck, which is the first time. Yeah, that's awesome. Also a proper tarot size, I guess, yeah? That's not standard tarot size, I no. don't believe. Because the third party one that was available was just a regular deck of cards, right? Prince yeah, Guild Force 9s was standard. Yeah. These are if you go on vacation to Barovia. Yeah. You send one of these back to people. Welcome to Barovia. <laughs> Wish you weren't here. All right, let's, let's dig in. Both let's characters. Let's shots. start. Huh? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so I think as far as the actual campaign goes, there's no major changes. You know, as far as the actual sort of the story goes, the changes that have been made are all sort of uh, inclusionary things. So there are uh, some changes to uh, some, uh, how's the best way to put it? Some perhaps slightly salty descriptions of certain characters were thought to be acceptable years ago and they've become a little bit more inclusive, which is good. Uh, and then they've split the book, like, like uh, Tim showed you there, into having creatures separately, which is actually super handy. I like it because it's just it's easier to handle. <laughs> and then a, a whole book on the Taroka deck. So this is the first time that D&D themselves have produced this deck, right? I think. Like I say, it was, a, it was like a third party I that did it for so. them. Alright, we're going to cut the deck. Okay. We're looking here or there? Uh, here, traditionally. Right? Okay. What do they get? Death! The Myrmidon. The Myrmidon. It looks a bit like it, don't you think? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd go for that. And that one looks like you! Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gorgeous collector's edition thing, really, right? This is this is going to look so good on the shelf, if you, if you have a shelf that's tall enough. And obviously, like you said before, Curse of Strahd is one of the classic campaigns from... Third edition, originally? First. Third? Oh, really? Yeah. That far back? Okay, cool. Um, and it's nice to see it. so it's still getting some love. Do we have any they can buy? We sure do. Oh, Available cool. tomorrow. Today? Today. Tomorrow. Today. Tomorrow today. But today, when you're watching the, the magic of editing. That's right. Um, there'll be a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to keep it here with a subscribe for more on the Game Chamber.